All right, guys, we're back. We're going to tackle these lamps. That's the painting. Actually, no, it's the picture. That's the painting. I mean, how can you tell? This is crazy. All right, I can't even tell. All right. I kind of cleaned my palette off just because it was getting so messy and all the paint was actually used and I was just going to uh, nubs of paint, little fragments um, to try to make them work and that's not going to end up. So what's going to happen right now is I'm going to end up just mixing them by my brush, which I tell y'all not to do, but I'm doing right now, I'm going I'm not gonna really show you these colors, but uh, you'll see them once they're up here. So you will get to see them. But let's just go with a white and a cad yellow. Cause I wanna, I put a little bit, something that you probably didn't see is uh, this building. The, this color I did put in the stained glass, or not the stain, but the glass at the bottom of the glasses because it's gonna hint at all that. Uh, I just wanted to try out this color at first. Like, um, like I'm doing this for the first time, so I'm not. Wanting to go, I'm trying out colors for the first time is what I'm basically saying. Um, I can always, and one of the things that I'm using now, I'm using the bigger brush and I'm loading up the brush with the paint. Um, hopefully what this does is usually the thicker the paint, the brighter the value of the color is. And paintings are not only two dimensional, they're also three dimensional. So light coming from above hitting the brush strokes that you use creates depth, pushes things back. It plays, it's a play, it's a, it's a play on the ice. It's basically what it is. If you see a uh, yellow in the back, like, Might as well hit it right. Like I do see a, uh, might even be slightly more cad than that. All right, so. I'm gonna clean this brush right now and <clears throat> go into a different color and make an orange out of that. The, the red, you could add cad red. If you had cad orange, you could add it into this yellow. Um, you can add anything into it to make it more orange that's available to you. Listening to a little John Prine, passed away with the COV. He's a legend in country music. Everybody loved him. I do recommend listening to music while you paint and gets you sort of a little more into the zone, gets you painting a little bit better or uh, actually even depending on the music sometime in your mood, like paintings just kind of happen um, towards both. For some reason there's four lamps, I lost a lamp somewhere in the, the mixed things. Screw it, I'll add a little bit of this orange where I see orange is. I'm not thinking about what it is. I'm just thinking about, well, there's a dab of orange. There's a dab of orange. Um, 
Do I see it anywhere else? Yes, I do. I see a dab there. I'll probably come back and hit at that. Yeah, like these colors that I had mixed, like they're on the edge of the wrought iron right here. We probably want to be a little more precise with that one, but we'll get back to it. Let's do uh, just white, Naples yellow. So there's definitely a lot more Naples. I mean, a lot more white than Naples. Speaking of which, I need more white on my palette so we can get this done. Seed light, I want to hit it wherever you see this color attack. Saw that my brush probably swiped in the middle of this and it picked up the black. It's things that you have to look out for, like uh, contamination, just like we have to look at contamination right now. But just because I have black there, uh. How do I fix this part right here? Because I want that really white and bright. A um, couple things. I could take my palette knife or a palette knife. I can scrape off the paint that's dark. Come back in. Or you can use a brush, use mineral spirit, swipe it off, whatever you need. I know there's a white right here. I'm tempted to put some of this in so I know where I want them. And I think I want to do that. So uh, not to say that I'm not going to come back and hint at them because I will. I'm trying to find, I think my vanishing point was here. So I know that my light would have been somewhere around there maybe it's probably a little high a little left but you do what you can do right this i can go into a little more than naples yellow in that little orange mixture and kind of Something that's a little bit different, not quite a start, but a uh, hint at the building over here. Excuse me, I got to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry, I'm alone and I did that sneeze. All right. Let's keep going. We're eight minutes in. Hopefully I can nail a lot of this. I can use actually the same color to maybe try to hint at some of these highlights that's in this scenario. Like the, just the feel. Well, I feel like there's, you know, like you feel like there's the wraparound circle and then you have a feel of, um, space going down you have a little bit of this you have a little bit of that uh, i'm really just trying to hint at the colors that i see not so much the shape or the you know, i don't want it stark white like you would you know that this is painted white these embellishments are painted white and the columns are painted white but we don't need that quite yet um We'll add the white later. Right now, we just want to hint at uh, 
the version of the shadow side, which isn't very dark. But we have hit or misses of this color, kind of going down and in and around. I have a buddy hanging out with me at this moment. His name is Sancho. Not the original Sancho, but I found another one. So if he has any questions, he can chime in. He just has to speak really loud. I sure will. He says he sure will if y'all didn't hear it. Sancho, if you see anything that you don't understand, I know you're a smart man. You'll have to watch the videos. I can use some of the colors that's up in here around the background area. It will help push back the space. Um, I don't want it sharp. I don't want it fuzzy fuzzy. But I want hints of the color blurred enough, sharp enough, but yet hold its viewpoint. All right, so I'm gonna mix a bright green. I didn't use it, but I let it go. So that's just cad yellow, manganese blue. I'm going to try to get some of the brighter colors in, and then if I, they need dulling down, I will dull them down. I know that uh, these palm trees don't have this color in it, but it sure is a nice, I feel like it sure is a really nice highlight color. It's easy to knock down some of the, <clears throat> a lot of times if you uh, do a stroke, it lays it down, especially if you had your brush up, but if you just uh, throw a finger over it, especially at the first part, if you know it's an expressive stroke, if you throw your finger over it, it'll lay it down and it'll blend in a little bit better. All right, so I'm gonna mix like more of a uh, ochre, which I hadn't put out an ochre, but we're uh, gonna use brown, green, that green that I just had, and create some of these areas. And mine's gonna be a little bit brighter, because, or I can make it darker with the brown, yellow, if you wanna add a little blue, that'll, Dull it down. Yeah, I'm not going to put as much as what's there. Just want to hint at that value. 
hinting at the values more than uh, painting it. So I'm going to mix some alizarin crimson in it, get it more redder and darker. And we'll hit this side with it. One thing I'd like to see would be the highlight of this tree, that area, right there. So let's try to tackle that real quick. And then we'll stop, and then we'll do the final touches of the painting. All right? All right. So I'm mixing white, mixing a little bit of things. I don't know exactly what I'm mixing, but uh, really just wanna make it feel like it's a little warm, but light. So for now, I'm really have to just kind of congruent it all together. It's the finishing touches to make it flow. All right. And we'll do that right after these moments, two and two. Anybody that's uh, Wheel of Fortunes fans and back in the day will know. Boop, boop. 